So the snow didn't really stick. I mean, as far as like, it's not enough to <laughs> call off school. I mean, it's on everyone's roofs and things like that. You can see the neighbor and it's in the grass on the trampoline, but not enough to have a snow day. Everyone went to school. You can see it's pretty melty. Even on the car, it's already starting to melt. However, it is really cold today. Um, but it's a different kind of cold. It's like not windy. Oh, look. When I Emmy snowballs. <laughs> um, it's not windy. So it's just cold. And hey, good morning. Official good morning. It's about 8.30. Andres just left to go to work. And... Take Maddie to school. I mean had school today. None of the schools were closed It was not enough to ruin the roads as you can see the sun's coming out today It's supposed to be sunny and cold all day But cold is not for here a reason that they don't go to school If it had continued to snow and stuck to the ground as far as like the roads Obviously we wouldn't be driving Texas can't people in Texas at least in San Antonio can't even drive when it's raining So I can't imagine trying to drive in the snow um but yeah, it wasn't enough to have any of that, so everyone had school today. And I'm kind of grateful because I have a lot of things on the to-do list to do, and I, all I kept thinking was, we're gonna have a snow day. That means nothing's gonna get done, <laughs> which would have been fine and fun. The big girls have seen snow before, actual snow. Uh, in Colorado last year and when we went over Valentine's Day when I found out I was pregnant with this one So they've been in actual snow But not here in their city that they were born and raised, you know, and even for us It's funny because even even Emmy's teacher everyone's like it hasn't snowed in San Antonio in 30 years I'm like where have y'all been? It's true. We had a huge snowstorm the day before, I mean, the year before I was born. My mom tells me all the time. 1985, we had a huge snowstorm, like 13 inches. This was nowhere near that. I don't know how many inches we got. I don't even know that that constitutes as inches, but this was like, yeah, I guess the first time it really, really snowed. However, I showed y'all that picture six years ago in 2011. It did snow. A little bit enough for it to stick just like it did last night and I'm pretty sure we woke up and there was snow and on the ground like this so I don't know what everyone's talking about I don't know if they weren't here for that or what um, or maybe it didn't snow like last night it snowed everywhere and we actually got the least amount of snow compared to the rest of San Antonio I feel like people over in the Dominion area, like that was where we first saw on Facebook the bulk of it. They got so, so much snow. So I don't know if we just didn't get as much as everybody else and that's why it's like a huge thing because some videos on Facebook, it literally looked like a winter wonderland. They were able to build such big snowmen. We did not have, I don't know if it's because we didn't have enough yard to catch snow, but we did not have that much to build that big of a snowman so anyway it was a pretty epic event I know last night I just kind of abruptly cut off the vlogs because I went to bed <laughs> but and I forgot the camera downstairs and I was so tired I was like oh, just go to bed I'll talk about it in the morning but it was a pretty big deal for us last night and I'm sure some of you are like OMG y'all are freaking out over like a little bit of snow it blizzards here and I'm sure and I got so many messages yesterday talking about how you guys are in all kinds of different states Ohio Illinois I don't know about like the Dakotas if y'all have got snow I know more north gets snow earlier than kind of Midwest and things like that and mid east um, and the south I know like we just don't people are in Florida swimming so I don't know I um we were pretty excited but anyway today I'm hoping autumn's eating right now we're waiting for the dogs to go potty. They hate the winter time. They hate it. Dulce is part lab, part Cocker Spaniel, but I swear instead of Cocker Spaniel, he's a hound dog because he whines and cries and howls when he's not happy outside. But he will sit here at the door. I'm watching him. He'll sit here at the door and not go potty instead of like Bella, she's smart because I let her out to go potty. She goes potty. 
she's a little brown chihuahua terrier mix she goes potty and she comes right back to the door but dulce will sit here and whine and not go potty i'm like go potty quick and then you can come right back in they hate the winter <laughs> so i'm sure this snow the little bit of snow on the ground that we have he's like oh he's finally going he's finally walking out there i'm sure he's like oh i hate my life where do we live <laughs> I'm hoping if Autumn finishes her breakfast, I can at least take her to the backyard onto the trampoline or something so she can touch it. It's just ice, I know, but I'm sad because the big girls have seen snow before. Autumn's now, I don't even have a picture of Autumn in snow, which I could totally change. We could travel to snow, but I just think it would be cool to have a picture of her in it, you know? I should have woken her up last night, but she's not, she would have been so grouchy and hating life. Yay. Oh. <laughs> Get up. Up. <laughs> Autumn, you're okay, Ma. Come here. Come here. She didn't like it. It just no look look touch it see it just no <laughs> it just no mama what's wrong <laughs> it's just some snow baby look touch it She does not like it. Still hasn't really melted that much. In the backyard, the um, roof has melted. I just heard it like fall all over the backyard. Let's see, what about this one? Ugh. Try that. Yeah. Hi, Beta. Yeah. Appa! It's just no. You scared of Bella? Ooh. Here, look, here's another one. Look. She is not a happy camper. You don't like it, Mama. You don't like it. This isn't fun. You see it? Oh. You're petting him. <laughs> no, Dulce. No, BB. Don't lick her. Yay, Autumn. Yay. My torrid order finally came. Finally. I ordered this. Does it say? 11.27. And it just got here. Today's December 8th. Honestly, I'm kind of disappointed. I feel like this stuff took forever. But I did get some pretty cool stuff. I ordered it all online, so I actually don't even remember ordering all of this. Like, I don't remember ordering these. Did I order them? I guess I did. But I don't remember that. Okay. And then I got this shirt. I don't really remember ordering that one either. The only thing I actually remember ordering is my uh, dress, which I'm excited to try on. I got a sweater, 
I ordered some jeans and like full jeans because I have been wearing them actually wearing them today my boyfriend jeans and even rolled down they're still ankles so I really have to be careful whenever I'm wearing like it's cold outside right now so I would wear boots with it but they're actual ankle jeans or they're boyfriend jeans so they're made for like rolling up or whatever so I ordered some regular jeans and then what's this $25 off cool and then I ordered my dress finally in a 22 hopefully it fits I'm gonna try it on right now just left the P.O. box can't even remember the last thing I filmed I think it was something this morning it's already almost 4 p.m. kind of got myself together I got Autumn's room completely straightened up all her clothes put away I got part of her wall decor done um, those butterflies that I got from Dollar Tree but now that they're up there I'm kind of thinking I should have spray painted them so you know it is what it is I don't know I may show you guys later and see what y'all think I'm thinking about spray painting them but anyway I did that I got I declut decluttered all her clothes like I went through everything and got rid of everything that doesn't fit her right now um, I hung up stuff that was too big put it away I brought out her 24 month pants because her 18 month pants I don't know if it's because a lot of them were handed down from Maddie but they just do not fit between her diaper and her chunky thighs so I brought some of that stuff out and I kind of went through her clothes to see what all she needs exactly and I'm thinking just long sleeve onesies and maybe some pants and um, like the feety jammies because she only has three pairs or something. She's got a bunch from Maddie, but the ones from Maddie are a 3T. So they probably won't fit her for a while. <laughs> um, she doesn't have any other than that. Then what else did I do? Got started on Maddie's room, um, folding, putting like kind of same thing, sorting through her clothes and stuff. And Emmy has been really good about like trying something on. If it doesn't fit her, we either give it to Maddie or if it's kind of worn and faded, we just get rid of it. Um, and I think that's about it. Came to the post office. I have so, so many Christmas cards from you guys. I'm so excited to take our Christmas picture and send them back to you guys. So excited. I cannot wait. And then also, what else? did we get oh I picked up two packages one from Jessica I haven't opened it yet Jessica and then I think this is from Tegan I think this is what she said she sent I haven't opened them because I it's four o'clock and I still want to go home and uh, make dinner because we are going to go look at Christmas lights somewhere tonight uh, I haven't decided where yet though so anywho it's been a pretty productive day i also edited a dollar tree haul that went up on my beauty channel i think that's about all i got done but still i was pretty productive i'm pretty proud of myself i gotta say okay so i'm home and i actually opened up my packages tegan you are awesome i love it look the girl 17 they're reading autumn's book <laughs> they haven't even seen what else they got look mama look maddie this is from mommy's friend Tegan. She lives all the way in Australia. Thank you. Thank you. This is a painting mommy. Yeah. Yay! Santa's coming to Australia. Yeah, but that's not from mommy. That's from mommy's friend Tegan. She watches us on the vlog. And you know where she's from? Thank you, Tegan. Australia. Australia. I see it right here. Yeah, that's way far away, all the way on the other side of the world. Other side? You know me, that? Mommy. Like me, the bottom mommy. of the earth? Feel me, mommy. No. Um, <laughs> that's so cool. After dinner, can we paint? Um, I don't know. We'll mommy, see. We're going to go do something. Mommy, go see the light? That's so cool. And look, she made us a cake topper. <gasps> this is for Autumn. Can I go give it to Autumn, Mommy? Yep. Adam, wait, Adam, over here, And then she had asked me about Cadbury. We have Cadbury, but it's funny. We don't, she said Dairy Milk is our most popular chocolate brand. I've never, I mean, we have Cadbury during Easter only. <laughs> That's for Daddy. Oh, Daddy. Look, look what she got you. Chocolate. <laughs> These look so cool. Because these look so cool. And then this is for all of us to share and some wash. These are so cool. Oh my 
Kanga. Thank you for the chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. And then I also got a mug from, Je I got it, Jessica, I got it. They didn't send it back. She had emailed me and she was like, uh, I know you're really busy, but I think they're going to send it back. They still had it and I love it. I'm so excited. I love the Ellen DeGeneres show. I Every time we're in California, I always want to go there and I am so excited. She's actually going back in January. I'm going to have to look at their shop. She said she would grab something else for me. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys. I love it. And I have a surplus of Christmas cards. And I, you guys are just awesome. You really know how to brighten my day. Thank you guys very, very much. So dinner tonight before we go do something is... That's supposed to be, did you actually do it the same or is it just a fried chicken? Oh, don't show the burnt one. It was good. I had a piece. I'm just didn't want to show you the burnt ones. <laughs> um, but this isn't the chicken, chicken melanessa. It's just fried chicken, right, at this point. So I told him we had leftover mashed potatoes from the other day. Let's just do chicken fried chicken. So we're doing mashed, the mashed potatoes, um, some white gravy, autumn, and uh, oy, green beans. We made it out of the house. It's freaking cold, but look how beautiful all these lights are. Six flags. And look how bundled up the girls are. Turn around, girls. Let me see your stuff. We have on snow jackets because, you know, that's how we roll. Maddie's finally fits hers. Emmy's is looking a little snug over there. It fits good, Mommy. No, yeah, it fits good. It'll last her this year, but I think next year she'll need a new one. They both have scarves, gloves earmuffs they're double pant panted no they have they're wearing double pants and snow boots winter boots yeah I know and I should have too because my jeans are not warm enough let me show autumn <laughs> autumn has on a onesie a long sleeve shirt double pants double jacket double jacket a hat <laughs> And a blanket, huh, mama? And she's like, y'all yeah, just leave me alone. I'm not happy about this. <laughs> and I have on my snow jacket, which barely fits. How I wore it two years ago, year and a half ago, whatever, I don't know. Cause I'm the same weight, but it's that second baby gut. And a scarf. This is my new hat that I got from Target and gloves that I've had for a while. And it's still cold. the new Wonder Woman coaster. I think it's gonna be, oh yeah, in 2018. Next year. Girl power! They took out the power surge that had been here for years and years and years though and put in Wonder Woman. Wow. I'm curious to see what it's gonna look like when it's Maybe all done. We'll go over there, Mommy, we'll get all to all the rides. Let's go down. Maybe, okay. Oh, yeah. Girls talked me into this one. Normally, I cannot do circles, but I've ridden it with them before, so they're like, Mommy, you can do it! Okay, we're gonna spin, right? Yeah. <laughs> Emmy wanted to ride in her own so she could spin faster. <laughs> but this one is as fast, my Mommy. No, this is gonna be the slow yellow ball, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
They're the only ones on the ride. Woo! <laughs> Woohoo! I'm so excited. Maddie's tall enough to ride the Roadrunner Express. Yay! And I convinced Emmy. Emmy didn't really like this one last time, y'all remember? But Maddie's all about it. Back into the into the thing, Mama. Yeah. How was it? I I call it a nine. A nine? Did you like it, Maddie? Maddie, how was it? Maddie, how was it? Did you like it? How was it? Was it fun? Yeah. Yeah. We're riding again. Mama, you ready? It's not gonna be as scary this time, right? You ready? Not gonna be that scary. You did so good, I'm so proud of you. Yeah. I'm so proud of you, Mama. You too, you didn't wig out like last time. Y'all did awesome. You did so good. That's a huge. It was a fast roller coaster. Y'all did great. And Mommy's so proud. That's actually a deep drop. Daddy's gonna be so excited to ride with you guys. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. Go get him. They're running so they may, maybe they can make one last ride before the park closes. We're not the only ones here. We literally are like the last people in the park. <laughs> it's a little after 10. They closed at 10. And we closed down Roadrunner Express. Closed it down. Hey, how did you number it, mommy? Uh, 10 out of 10. You? 20 out of 19. What? Maddie? One out of 10. Or one to 10. 10 being the best. 10? Yeah. There's literally nobody around this. It's kind of freaky. I'm like, I hope they didn't forget about us. I know, they're so beautiful. This is so much fun! I'd say it was a successful night. Autumn asleep. Is Autumn asleep? Autumn? Autumn's awake. Autumn. No. no. <laughs> Hi, Ma. Hi. These kiddos are down for the count. Good night. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Maddie. Okay. Oh, Autumn. Where am I looking? Good night. See you tomorrow. Boop. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay, we are home. That was so, so much fun. But it is 
late now and I am exhausted and I have to be up early tomorrow. We are wrapping presents at Sam Ministries for homeless little boys and girls and I think we're going to be there for about three hours but I have to wake up pretty early so I can go pick up one of the other girls and I'm tired today. It's been a very long day. I've been tired since dinner and this just kind of added to it but it was so much fun so worth it the lights were beautiful the girls had an awesome time and we had a great time because they had a good time so i'm going to call it a night it is way past my bedtime hopefully you guys enjoyed today we will see you tomorrow bye